About five years ago, I came home to our fourth floor condo after taking our dog for her noon walk. Oreo is an eight pound chihuahua with a white paw, and that's the reason for her name. And we walk three times a day, and had done for the last three years since she was a puppy. Except this time, I came home from lunch, and a couple of minutes later, heard a knock on the door. Our neighbor from the second floor had Oreo in her arms and asked, is this your dog? Somehow, Oreo and I were separated on the elevator coming home, and I hadn't noticed that she was missing when I walked through the door. Now, losing my dog between the first and the fourth floor was not a one-time chance occurrence. I was diagnosed adult ADD about 10 or 11 years ago, and up until then I had no idea why I had problems with focus all my adult life. I had bought and read dozens of self-help books on how to focus, depression because I couldn't focus, and lost promotions from yearly management reviews showing that I wasn't focused. And my doctor prescribed Ritalin and it was like somebody turned the light switch on in my brain. Now, several years after the ADD diagnosis, I ended up in the ER, and what my wife feared was a heart attack, and it turned out to be not a heart attack, but I was hypothyroid, severely hypothyroid. A non-functioning thyroid came with chronic fatigue syndrome, severe brain fog, memory loss, fibromyalgia, chronic pain, and adrenal fatigue. We endured endless visits to specialists and various hospitals, including the Cleveland Clinic, along with episodes of not remembering dates and appointments, losing my dog, a feeling business, a crumbling marriage, doctors, endocrinologists, neuroscience specialists, and therapists. Two unrelated neurologists tested me for dementia and early onset Alzheimer's disease. And one of the tests was the mini mental state exam where the doctor asked a series of questions designed to test everyday mental skills. Well, it turns out that I got 30 points in every test, which meant that I didn't have dementia. And then there was another test where I had to draw a clock. Now, I'm a writer and I'm not an artist, but I was able to draw a nearly perfect clock. So it was becoming increasingly clear that this was not dementia or Alzheimer's, but clearly my brain wasn't working the way it should. And the medical bills just kept on stacking up and the doctors had all but given up and there was nothing wrong with me according to mainstream medicine. But my life was falling apart and I had to make a decision, either figure this thing out or give up and die. And I decided there's gotta be a better way. Now I'm a Virgo and, and this means I'm very methodical in my approach to life and there had to be an, another answer to my cognitive problems and thus began years of research and experimenting. I had to find out if there was an alternative way to beat this severe brain fog and memory loss and depression. Ritalin helped me focus but it was not helping me in the memory and thinking department clearly. Now, years of searching websites, reading stacks of books, combing through the forums, and little by little I was able to get my brain working again. With determination and time, it was working better than ever. With the right combination of supplements and lifestyle changes, I've been able to turn my life around. My business is more profitable than ever, my relationship is better than the day we got married, and my brain is firing on all cylinders. And I continue to tweak and refine the supplements that I'm taking for my brain and for cognition. So, if you're dealing with ADHD or are not happy with your life because of brain fog or low energy or moodiness or difficulty sleeping or memory loss or just a feel, general feeling of blah, this book could be your way back. Now, Head First is the first book like it that's been written in the last 20 years. It's just about nootropic supplements or dietary supplements. It's not about lifestyle changes or, or diet or exercise or anything like that. It's just about nootropics. The first part, I've got a, uh, the introduction, which I just briefly touched on, and then I've got a chapter on brain hacking principles and how there's no magic pill 
and it talks about how to put together a nootropic stack including dosage and synergy and avoiding tolerance and, and choosing the right nootropics. And then there's a chapter on how your brain works in plain English that anybody can understand that'll help you put this together and to give you some kind of comfort to know that when you're taking nootropics, this is what it's doing in your brain. And then the lion's share of the book, or most of the book, is devoted to the most popular nootropics used today. And each review of the nootropic covers what it is, where it comes from, why we use it, and what it does in your brain, the recommended dosage for each individual supplement, uh, possible side effects, and uh, drug interactions. And the last two chapters are devoted to suggested stacks for taking care of things like improving your learning or memory and, and helping to beat anxiety and depression and helping with brain fog. Suggested nootropic stacks for each one of those including a longevity or an anti-aging one. You can get yourself a copy of Head First over on NootropicsExpert.com. Get yourself a copy. It's nearly 600 pages of how to take care of your head first and to fix your brain. And it's fully guaranteed. I'm David Toman, author of Nootropics Expert and the book Head First.